So hello and welcome to Adventures in Gardening. So today I'm over at the Kellam site. So this is in Newark, facing Kellam all across the road. We're called Kellam House. It's a 12 acre site. But primarily, why I'm doing this is to show you this. So this is my new battery operated uh, blower. It's a still BGA 60 with an AK20 battery on it. So here's the battery, AK20, there we go. And obviously, oh, bloody hell, so it's not easy with your, with your arm. And there's the blower, brand new, got it today. Um, what I will say with still, if you're doing, if you've got the ability to charge while you're working, I mean, I work at a static venue, so I've got the ability to do blowing and uh, yeah, and then put it on charge for a couple of hours, the battery. Um, I would always have two batteries. If you can afford the AK-30, go for the AK-30, don't bother with the AK-10. It's not worth it. Two batteries, one charger, and so this is the more powerful of the still blowers. Um, when you when it's fully charged, your battery, it will go into. I'll show you. So. It is as powerful as a battery, uh, as a petrol powered uh, blower. Now the thing is, it's as powerful as a petrol powered, powered blower, bloody hell, that's a mouthful. Um, like I say, you'll get a, a full throttle, you'll get 15 minutes with this one. The other one used to get 25, but I'll do that in a different review. It's broke, that's why I've got a new blower. Um, even blowing through wet leaves out of puddles, um, this one can do it, whereas the light, the other one couldn't. Um, on the arm, swapping from arm to arm, absolutely key with these blowers. Uh, you know, just stop you getting arm ache for one. Um, obviously, press a button, you go. You're not pulling your back out trying to get a. And this is the problem. People say, oh, petrol blowers are better. Well, they may be. But I've had many petrol blowers where you're pulling your heart out and literally it's, you know, it's super tough. Now, I look after a nine-acre site here. I look after a three-acre site at Cockliffe. And this is perfectly adequate. If you're doing garden after garden after garden, um, then it's, it's going to be different, you know. But... Um, I've got the ability to recharge. So for me, if you're doing small gardens and you've got the ability, you are like your own charging unit on your van, you know, something to plug it in to charge it, then I, I would think it's a good buy. I mean, but for me, for here, I didn't want a petrol blower. Uh, I've had you I've been using these battery powered jobbies now for nine years. They're Pelenk ones. Uh, which was super expensive, the batteries. Um, but like this, is 160 quid uh, for the single unit. For the battery and charger, you're probably looking at 300. But there's a range of good power tools. They're not meant for heavy industrial, heavy, heavy commercial work, but they're certainly good enough. For me, where I'm using it uh, day in, day out, and it never gets too bad, yeah, perfect for that. So would I recommend it to most gardeners? Absolutely, yeah. Because in most gardens, you'll do a garden and you've probably got about five, 10 minutes blowing. Perfect, you know, uh, especially if you've got two two batteries, you know, absolutely critical. AK-20, that battery, uh, I'd go for the AK-30 if you can afford it. It's all about money, isn't it? But yeah, um, so yeah, still BGA-60, well worth a punt. Cheers all.